Good, happy Monday afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. What a sight. Solar eclipse observed from New Hampshire. The Great American Eclipse didn't reach total in New Hampshire, but more than 60% of the sun was covered during its peak, which presented a beautiful sight for granite staters. The eclipse was streamed from the WMUR studios, where at about 2.45 p.m., 62% of the sun was covered up by the moon. During the eclipse, of course, it was partly sunny, but most of the granite staters was treated with clear skies and full sunshine. The eclipse began about 1.25 p.m., peaked about 2.45 p.m., and ended just before 4 p.m. Do not look at the sun without proper protection. Only use NASA-approved glasses that meet ISO specifications. If you do not have glasses, you can create a pinhole projector. Poke a small hole in a piece of paper or make a small hole with your hand. Project the light that passes through the small hole onto a makeshift screen. During the eclipse, the image on the screen will mirror what's happening to the our view of the sun. It's important to look at the screen and not through the small hole directly at the sun. A pair of binoculars or telescopes could also be used to project the image of the sun or white paper. New Hampshire has experienced two total, total solar eclipses over the past 150 years and several close calls along the way. The next countrywide total solar eclipse will be in 2024, and New Hampshire is lucky enough to be in its path of total eclipse. And that does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you back here later on today for the Riley King Newscast. Goodbye, everyone.